After the intense, Maggie-centric premiere and a heart-wrenching trip into Daryl's past, The Walking Dead seemed poised to give fans a bit of a lighter outing with one more. But the episode wound up being much darker than people may have expected. The episode begins with Father Gabriel and Aaron on a scavenging mission that has them following a map of possible supply-rich locations Maggie provided them. For the first half of One More, viewers are treated to some slapstick humor and drunken chats over a shared bottle of very expensive whiskey. However, in the episode's second half, things take a grim turn. The episode's title gets a mention early on. After a few weeks of scavenging with little to show for it, Gabriel tries to persuade an obviously agitated Aaron to keep going as they only have one more location to hit. On the way there, though, Gabriel has an encounter with a walker in some mud that leaves the map ruined. Gabriel is sure they can find the last stop without directions as he remembers that it was near a water tower, but Aaron is eager to get back to his daughter and doesn't see the point in trying another spot, as the others have been a bust. So they begin their return trip to Alexandria. Of course, there's rarely such a thing as a simple trip home. On the way, Gabriel and Aaron discover a seemingly abandoned warehouse that wasn't on Maggie's map. It's walker-free, but does contain a live wild boar locked away in one of the offices, as well as a bottle of expensive whiskey. Although both men began the day in sour moods, they loosen up during their night of boar meat and booze. After Gabriel and Aaron play a few rounds of poker, their conversation turns philosophical. Gabriel talks about one of his mentors from seminary, who taught him an important lesson about priestly communication. Real ministry isn't preaching from a pulpit. It's talking to people one on one, on their own terms. Meanwhile, Aaron wistfully remembers his former calling as a recruiter for Alexandria and wants them to start focusing on helping people again. However, like Carol in last week's episode, Gabriel's faith in Alexandria and what it represents has been seriously shaken by the Whisperer War. He is no longer convinced that the ideal of Alexandria as a community of light in a world of darkness is achievable. When Aaron tries to tell him to not let the Whisperers cloud his worldview, Gabriel responds, Evil people aren't the exception to the rule. They are the rule. The next morning, Gabriel wakes up to a gnarly hangover, and Aaron, who got up for a bathroom break in the middle of the night, is missing. While searching for Aaron, Gabriel meets Maze, who is brandishing an AK-47 and is very unhappy about the two trespassing in his hideout. He's also been eavesdropping on their conversation. Gabriel tries to claim ignorance about knowing that they were in someone's home, but Maze retorts with an excellent point. Yeah, so you figure that boar got into that room by itself? Maze holds Gabriel at gunpoint and reveals that Aaron is alive and announces that they're going to play a game. He puts a revolver with one bullet in the chamber on the table between the two men. Gabriel and Aaron are going to take turns playing Russian roulette. But the twist is that each man will have the option to either fire at their own head or at their friends. Each man, turn after turn, opts to point the gun only at themselves, giving Gabriel and Aaron the opportunity to put their respective ministering skills to the test as they extol the virtues of their community in Alexandria. We're not thieves and murderers. We, we don't kill each other. We protect each other. I'm like family. Mays isn't hearing any of it. He tells Gabriel and Aaron that his time living with his brother and his brother's family came to an end when his brother tried to kill him for the last of their food. After that incident, Mays has come to see humanity as greedy and evil. While Gabriel and Aaron try to convince him to have faith in the idea of family, he tells them that no such concept exists. Gabriel and Aaron refuse to turn on each other, and they also want to give Mays the opportunity to see the light by joining them in Alexandria. Eventually, Maze begins to soften. He stops the game and frees Aaron from his restraints, ready to join them after all. Until Gabriel bashes his head in with Aaron's detached metal arm. Aaron is clearly upset, but Gabriel sees things differently. Maze admitted one crucial piece of information that made him incompatible with the mission of Alexandria. He killed his own family. And what they discover next only proves Gabriel's point. Gabriel and Aaron decide to loot the hiding spot. They locate his lair and make a horrifying discovery. The brother he spoke about earlier is still alive and chained up to some pipes in the corner. 
Worse still, the long dead bodies of his wife and child are on the ground in front of him, a callback to the beginning of this episode. On their scouting trip, Gabriel and Aaron stumble upon the corpses of several families who had died in each other's arms. The sight of these deceased families clearly fuels the cynicism each man is feeling. Both Gabriel and Aaron struggle with the relationship to their families and the community of Alexandria throughout this episode. Gabriel's faith in being able to maintain a safe home for them wavers, while Aaron occasionally loses sight of what it takes to keep their family alive and well. But in surviving their ordeal with Maze, it appears that each man gains a bit more resolve to refocus and keep pushing forward. Gabriel and Aaron try to convince Maze's brother to come with them, but it's no use. As soon as they free his hands, he steals the revolver from Gabriel and shoots himself in the head. After leaving the warehouse, Gabriel and Aaron spot the water tower that signals they're close to the final scavenging location that they abandoned the search for at the beginning of the episode. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Looper videos about The Walking Dead are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.